What is going on guys? So we work a lot with Predator 212s on this channel because they're inexpensive, they're reliable, and they're uh, easy to modify. But we talk a lot about stage one versus stage two versus stage three and beyond. Today we're doing an extremely scientific performance comparison between Predator 212 performance stages. And right now we're trying to pick uh, what frame we want to use for our test mule. I already see which one I want to do. The Black Widow? The $50 the go $50 kart? $50 go kart. No. Why? Dude. It's a classic. It is a classic. I just want more consistency. Yeah, so more consistency. You're going to want something that kind of hugs you. Yeah. That means the American Express 2.0 is out of the question, too, because I was holding on for dear life. I know. Yeah. But I mean, imagine how bad it would be. Oh, but dude, the $50 go kart with 20 horsepower, that would just be silly. We might have to do it, man. That's what I was talking about, dude. All right, I'm down. You have what? It. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna Any say year a year and a half. But I think at this point we were using ethanol free. I hope so. Ready? Yeah. Holy cow! One pull. Don't let her die. <laughs> and we have these tires that uh, we're going to be taking off and putting the slicks on because, uh, well, it's really rough on the yard. Milk. There we go. There you go. Cool. All right. $50 go karts ready to go. So the first 212 we're going to be testing is bone stock right off the showroom floor three years ago. It's a little worse for wear looking, but it's going to perform just like a fresh 212, or at least within 95% of one. It's limited to about 3,600 RPM with the governor. It has the super restrictive stock muffler on it. It's going to be a dog. And we're going to be comparing the performance of these engines by doing a 120 foot drag race, as well as a lap around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. Martin, yep. get set, go. Thirty-seven twenty-six. Governor's still in it, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, governor's in it. Yeah. Alright, let's do a drag, drag race, race and then let's make some power. Alright. Are you ready? Set? Go! Yeah, buddy! Oh, this is way faster. Way, way faster. Yeah! Six twenty-three. Ninety-nine dollars on sale, baby, plus the cost of a clutch and chain and the rest of a go-kart. We're looking at six and a half horsepower. Well, honestly, we both already forgot the numbers for the drag race and the circuit, but I want to say the circuit was 37 and change. 3786, I'm going to say. I have no idea. Uh, and the drag race was a 638, I think. I'm pretty sure it was a 638. Now we have these numbers to beat. Let's uh, stick the stage one engine on it. So this is our stage one with the governor removed. This engine should make about nine horsepower, and the kit will run you about seventy-five dollars from GoPowerSports.com. Chain is on, and the engine is tightened down for our stage one engine. Now the governor has been removed, so it's going to turn five to six thousand RPM. It has a header and a muffler, a performance air filter, air filter adapter, and a carburetor jet. All right, choke's off. You're good. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! 551. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so 
we're making some quick repairs to the go-kart because the seat is falling off. It's already getting silly at the stage one kit. Uh, our drag time is down to five seconds, 0.51. We should be putting out about eight and a half to nine horsepower and it costs $78 at gopowersports.com. All these staged kits we're talking about today, you can buy them at gopowersports.com. You can find links in the description of this video and use our discount code CC10 to receive 10% off some of these items. So $78 for the stage one kit, bringing our total to $177. The plastic on the seat is busted on the bottom. I just put a new bolt on it and sandwiched it. Hopefully, hopefully it'll last. Are you marked? Get set, go. Oh yeah, good start. Good start. time to party buddy yeah so the final number for stage one is 31 39 which if it's not the fastest on the grand prix it's right there at it so this is our stage two engine and it came off of our drag mini bike so it's been sitting for a little while and it looks pretty much identical to a stage one but it has a billet rod a billet flywheel a mod two cam and 18 pound valve springs to help it rev even higher safer ready Set, go. Woo! 524, let's run it one more time. Yeah! Woo! 511. <laughs> wow, this thing is, this is just the stage two. It's stage two with a little bit of head work. We didn't mention that, but the head has been ported a little bit polished, not really shaved a tiny bit. Okay. Mark. Yep. Get set. Go. Sticking. Yeah. Woo! What a run, dude. 3005. <laughs> we are right there, dude. This thing boogies, man. Yeah. And this is only stage two. We're gonna take a quick break for dinner. Yeah. Get back at it. Do stage three. See y'all in a second. So for the drag race, we saw an improved time of five seconds point eleven. We saw a circuit lap time of thirty seconds oh five, which is the fastest we have ever done around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. We should be looking at about 13 to 14 horsepower. Cost, it is a $245 kit. So that brings the grand total up to $422. So on to stage three. The main differences between the stage three and stage two is that with the stage three, you get a 26 millimeter carburetor, you get a really, really thin head gasket to raise the compression, and you get to choose your cam and your valve spring weight. Full disclosure, we only have a 22 millimeter carburetor on here, so it's not gonna perform quite like a true stage three. It still should be pretty close though. Ready, set, go.
sorry, bud. What? Hey! <laughs> Alright, I'm losing brakes and I don't know why. Uh, they're overheating? They're overheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it could be uh, that we probably slung oil on them. Oh. Yes. Well, that would probably do it. Yes, because oil, oil yeah. Yep. Yeah. That is a wild ride. I know it is. Yeah. All right. Sun's going down. I think we can probably get the last engine on. All right. Well, let's do it. Here are the stage three results. Drag race was a 513. A little bit slower than stage two, but we have a good explanation for that. We'll get to in a minute. The circuit race was a uh, 2996. Power, we should be making about 16 horsepower. This kit is a 15 horsepower minimum, but with the cam and valve springs we're using, we're gonna say 16 horsepower and also the extensive head work. The kit costs $365, bringing the grand total to $542, which is a lot of money, but you're making a lot of power. I mean, the thing was quick. It's getting dark. We're gonna put our fifth and final engine on the cart and try to do our tests before the sun goes down. You want to hop on it real quick? No, sir. Why not? I, I, I'm, the yard has gotten enough abuse. Oh, but it's so fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, <sighs> sure. Why yes. not? All right. I'll dude. do it. Yep. It's, it's very, very dangerous at this point. Okay. Like, especially this, because, like, you know, if, if you don't hook somewhere in here, like, you're going to yep. hit all those rocks. So, Woo. yep, fun stuff. Ready? Set? Go! He's going wide. <laughs> you almost got cream. I know, man. Come <laughs> over my time. 32. Wow. Did you hear me squeal I like did. a pig? I did hear you squeal like I a pig. I must have come like within an inch of taking out those rocks. Yeah, I saw. I was <laughs> standing right there. <laughs> yeah. This, yeah, I messed up over there. Uh, what, what it is is the throttle's not returning. Yeah. And I, I was freaking out. Yeah. Can you at least, like, bleep out the uh, the scream and just make people think that I cussed? The squeal? Yeah. It was kind of the high-pitched It was. Squeak. Yeah, it was very high-pitched. I didn't know if it yeah. was the, the wheel squeaking or you. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was the <laughs> wheel. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call it a 499 because we don't remember. Uh, the circuit race was a... 2986. We should be putting out about 20 horsepower with the extensive work done to this engine. The major differences in the stage four versus stage three include a much larger intake valve, uh, 24 millimeter carburetor, and heavier duty valve springs, uh, among a different cam and some other things. So the stage four kit costs a whopping $450, bringing the grand total to $627. Now, I'm not adding every time you do this because, like, Stage four comes with a lot of things in stage two, et cetera. So throughout our Back to the Future build, you guys asked for a cost breakdown for everything, and this was our attempt to do that. Can't get much better than a full, uh, than a full table with performance tests and numbers. And, and I would like to point out that these numbers are on slick tires in, in the grass. grass. <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe we can do another one of these runs on asphalt once we I find a track. To. I would love to. When yeah. we find a track and we can put these engines on a racing frame. Yeah, because we were not utilizing all the power from that. I no. don't think I don't think we even 
we didn't touch, you know, anywhere close to the 9,000 RPM red line anyway. Well, I did, but I was sideways, so it didn't count for anything. So, of course, not everyone is going to go for stage four or stage three or stage two or stage one. Some people may even stay stock, but here's all the information you should ever need for comparing the Predator 212 performance kits. It was a lot of fun doing these tests. Um, it was pretty scary, uh, especially in this area, but it was awesome. In the $50 go cart, is the fastest around the cars and cameras Grand Prix with, with broke into the 20s, dude. That's awesome. Some of you guys might be like, why would I spend another $80, $85 for only a tenth increase in my lap time? Well, first, this was not the ideal test track for lap times, but additionally, this is kind of what you run into when you're modifying any kind of combustion engine. The gains at the beginning are gonna be pretty significant, but the more you try to squeeze out of your engine, the more expensive it's gonna be and the less you're gonna get out of it. Honestly, I don't know that we're really there with the 212 yet, but with any combustion engine, you're gonna reach a point where things are gonna get infinitely more expensive for incrementally more horsepower gains. I don't know if that makes sense. And this doesn't really show that that much since you're still looking at significant gains between three and four, but that's kind of what you run into. So this graph does tell us one thing. There's a huge jump in price between stages one and two, but there's also a huge jump in performance. So I think here is where you separate the really casual people from like, you know, the more hardcore people have more money to spend on their stuff. Yeah. Because you go a lot faster and it's safer because you have the billet parts. Um, but it's a big jump in price. Data analytics with cars and cameras. John Nye, the go-kart guy. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> this has been our exhaustive Predator 212 comparison. Now I say exhaustive, it wasn't super exhaustive. And we're going to get some bad comments about how not exhaustive it was. And how we were running around in the yard not putting it on the pavement. We don't have a place to ride these things on the pavement. The best thing we got is the yard. And no, we can't put the the turf, uh, tires. turf tires on it because we're not allowed to tear up the yard and we're tearing it up enough with the slicks. So we would love to put it on concrete or asphalt, but hopefully one wait one day we will. Yeah. And you can find all these performance packages at gopowersports.com. Use our links in the description to make sure you go to the right place and use our discount code 10% off CC10. That's right. Use our code CC10. The discount only applies to off-road go-kart, street go-kart and mini bike parts. Uh, so check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine. Uh, thanks for watching the video. July 21st, 10 a.m. Busco Beach. Meet us there. We're going to have the drag rail. We're going to have the CT70s. We're going to have a bunch of the classics out there. You're going to have the drag rail out there? Yeah, we have to, don't we? Okay. I thought we already decided we were going to take it. All right. That'll be interesting. Maybe just one pass. Okay. Maybe. That'll be all right. I'll tell you what, my arm still hurts. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already and press the little bell to receive notifications from us and support the channel by picking up some shirts and some stickers at cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.